dive into the past, where the journey of tropical fruit plantations began, a time when early civilizations were just beginning to understand the world around them. In the lush tropics, the bounty of nature was rich and diverse. Among this abundance, they discovered something extraordinary, fruits. Fruit trees with their vibrant colors and enticing aromas were not just a feast for the eyes, but for the palate as well. These early people realized that fruits were more than just a sweet treat. They were a source of nourishment, offering essential vitamins and minerals crucial for survival. And so they began to cultivate them, not only for their own sustenance, but also for trade. In the verdant landscapes of Southeast Asia, the cultivation of bananas took root. These tropical fruits, with their unique shape and appealing taste, were easy to grow and offered rich yields. They became a staple food for the people and a valuable commodity in trade. In the heartlands of South America, the spiky pineapple found a home. This fruit, with its tough exterior and sweet interior, was not only consumed fresh, but also processed into wine, vinegar, and even medicine, making it a versatile product for the indigenous people. Meanwhile, in the Pacific Islands, the cultivation of coconuts began. These hardy palms, laden with large round fruits, thrived in the coastal regions. Coconuts were used not just for their refreshing water and tasty flesh, but their fibrous husks and sturdy shells found use in crafting tools and building materials. Thus, in these tropical regions the age-old practice of fruit cultivation evolved into organized plantations. It was a transformation driven by the need for sustenance, the lure of trade, and the inherent human curiosity to explore and innovate. Thus, the foundations of tropical fruit plantations were laid, setting the stage for a revolution in agriculture. As civilizations grew, so did the scale and scope of tropical fruit plantations. The Middle Ages marked a significant expansion in fruit cultivation. Fueled by the burgeoning societies and the increasing demand for diverse food sources, fruit plantations began to scatter across the landscapes of Southern Europe and the Middle East. The Renaissance brought with it a renewed interest in exploration and discovery. This period saw a surge in the spread of tropical fruits to regions far beyond their native lands. Explorers, traders and missionaries carried these exotic fruits along the Silk Road, across the Mediterranean and over the vast Atlantic Ocean. These fruits weren't just a source of nourishment, but also served as a symbol of wealth and status, coveted by the nobility and the affluent. As the world moved into the era of colonial expansion, the role of tropical fruit plantations further evolved. Colonial powers such as Spain, Portugal, the Netherlands and England recognized the economic potential these plantations held. In their colonies, vast tracts of lands were transformed into expansive plantations. From the Caribbean to Southeast Asia, from Africa to South America, these colonies became the new homes for fruits like bananas, pineapples, mangoes and coconuts. These plantations were more than just agricultural ventures. They were an integral part of the colonial economy, generating wealth and prosperity for the colonial powers. Yet, they also had a darker side, often associated with forced labor and exploitation. Nevertheless, the spread of tropical fruits through these plantations had a transformative impact. It altered local diets, introducing new flavors and nutritional sources. It reshaped economies, creating new industries and trade networks. Most importantly, it connected cultures and civilizations through the shared experience of these exotic fruits. The age of exploration brought tropical fruits to new shores, transforming diets and economies around the globe. The winds of the Industrial Revolution also swept through the tropical fruit plantations. A gust of change that was to transform not only the face of agriculture, but the very nature of the fruit industry. Let's step back in time for a moment to the late 18th and early 19th centuries. This was a time of unprecedented innovation and invention. The Industrial Revolution was in full swing, and the effects were far-reaching, impacting every corner of the globe, including the lush, verdant fruit plantations of the tropics. Among the most significant developments were the introduction of machinery and improved irrigation systems. These innovations were a game-changer, allowing plantation owners to cultivate and harvest their crops with greater efficiency and on a much larger scale. Imagine, if you will, the sights and sounds of this era. A once quiet plantation now humming with the rhythmic throb of machinery, the air filled with the scent of ripe fruit and the promise of progress. Improved irrigation systems played a crucial role too. These systems allowed for more consistent and reliable watering of the crops, regardless of the vagaries of the weather. 
As a result, the yields from these plantations increased dramatically. But the impact of the Industrial Revolution on fruit plantations didn't stop there. The increased production led to the commercialization of tropical fruits. Prior to this, tropical fruits were largely a luxury item enjoyed by the few who could afford them. But with the advent of the Industrial Revolution, these fruits became more accessible to the masses. Suddenly, exotic fruits like pineapples, bananas, and mangoes were no longer exclusive treats but everyday staples. They were shipped in vast quantities, from the tropical plantations to the bustling markets of the world's burgeoning cities. The Industrial Revolution marked a new era for tropical fruit plantations, turning them into significant commercial enterprises. It was a time of great transformation, a time when the fruits of the tropics were brought to the world stage, forever changing our relationship with these sweet, exotic delights. The 20th century saw the rise of powerful fruit companies, altering the landscape of tropical fruit plantations. This was a time of great transformation, as the world of fruits was about to be revolutionized. In the early 20th century, companies such as the United Fruit Company and Dole Food Company emerged on the scene. These companies weren't just simple fruit sellers, they were game changers. They took control of vast expanses of land, converting them into expansive plantations that churned out tropical fruits in unprecedented quantities. The United Fruit Company, for instance, established a stronghold in Central and South America. With their massive plantations, they cultivated a variety of fruits, including bananas, pineapples, and avocados. Their impact was so significant that they practically controlled the economies of several countries. They were more than a company. They were a force to be reckoned with. On the other side of the globe, Dole Food Company was making its mark in the Hawaiian Islands. They focused their efforts on pineapple cultivation, turning the islands into the world's leading producer of the fruit. The company's influence on Hawaii was so profound that it shaped the local economy and culture, making pineapple an iconic symbol of the region. These companies didn't just grow and sell fruit. They controlled every aspect of the industry from cultivation to transportation and marketing. Their influence extended beyond the boundaries of their plantations. They shaped policies, influenced governments, and even played a role in shaping public opinion about tropical fruits. But this rise of the fruit companies wasn't without controversy. Their dominance led to issues of monopoly, exploitation, and environmental degradation. The company's practices were often questioned, leading to various social and political movements. Despite these controversies, there's no denying the impact these fruit companies had on the industry. They revolutionized the way we grow, distribute, and consume tropical fruits. They transformed tropical countries into major players in the global fruit market. The 20th century was dominated by fruit companies, which wielded enormous power and influence over the tropical fruit industry. The tropical fruit plantations of today bear little resemblance to their humble beginnings. In the present day, these vibrant expanses of land are teeming with life, brimming with a dazzling array of fruits, from the sweet tang of pineapples to the luscious richness of mangoes. But the plantations of today are not just about producing mouth-watering fruits. They are the result of relentless innovation and technological advancement in the field of agriculture. Modern plantations are equipped with advanced agricultural technology that has revolutionized the industry. These technologies include drip irrigation systems that optimize water usage, satellite imagery to monitor crop growth, and even drones that scout for diseases or pests. These innovations not only enhance productivity, but also promote sustainable farming practices, reducing the strain on our Mother Earth. But it's not just about the technology. Today's tropical fruit plantations have become an integral part of the global supply chain. Their produce feeds millions across the globe, from the bustling markets of Bangkok to the grocery stores of New York. This worldwide network requires efficient logistics and transportation, underlining the importance of these plantations in global food security. Yet, like any industry, tropical fruit plantations face their fair share of challenges. Climate change is a looming threat, with unpredictable weather patterns and rising temperatures affecting crop yields. Pests and diseases too pose significant risks, threatening to wipe out entire harvests. Meanwhile, labor issues persist as the industry grapples with ensuring fair wages and working conditions for its workforce. In the face of these challenges, the industry continues to innovate and adapt. Strategies such as crop diversification, integrated pest management, and the adoption of fair trade practices 
are being explored to ensure the sustainability and resilience of these plantations. Modern tropical fruit plantations have come a long way from their origins, but they face a new set of challenges in the 21st century. Despite these hurdles, the journey of these plantations is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, a story of how we've cultivated nature's bounty to nourish the world. As we gaze into the future, what lies in store for tropical fruit plantations? Just as the past was marked by innovation and change, so too will the future be. The tropical fruit industry is poised on the precipice of a new era, driven by advancements in technology and a growing global consciousness about sustainability and ethics, Genetic modification is one such frontier. Scientists are already exploring ways to create fruit varieties that are not only more delicious, but also more resilient to pests and harsh weather conditions. Imagine bananas that can withstand the onslaught of Panama disease, or pineapples that can thrive in drought. Such innovations could revolutionize the industry, making tropical fruits more accessible and affordable. Beyond that, the future may see our plantations reaching for the sky. Vertical farming, a method of growing crops in vertically stacked layers, could maximize production in urban areas where land is scarce. In these towering greenhouses, tropical fruits could grow year-round, unaffected by seasonal changes or adverse weather. But the future isn't just about producing more, it's about producing better. That's where artificial intelligence and robotics come in. These technologies can monitor plant health, optimize irrigation and fertilizer use, and even harvest fruits with precision. This not only increases efficiency, but also reduces waste and lowers the environmental footprint of plantations. Yet technology alone is not the answer. The future of tropical fruit plantations also hinges on sustainable and ethical practices. It's about ensuring fair wages for workers, reducing pesticide use, and preserving biodiversity. It's about balancing our desire for sweet exotic fruits with the needs of the planet and its people. And you the consumers, play a key role in this future. By choosing fruits that are responsibly sourced and sustainably grown, you can drive change in the industry. Your choices can help shape a future where tropical fruit plantations are not only productive, but also beneficial to our world. The future of tropical fruit plantations is ripe with possibilities, but it is up to us to ensure that it is a sustainable and equitable one. So, there you have it, a journey through time exploring the history of tropical fruit plantations. We've traced their roots back to the birth of fruit plantations, witnessing their growth and expansion over the centuries. We've seen how the Industrial Revolution played a pivotal role in shaping these plantations, revolutionizing their operations, and paving the way for the rise of influential fruit companies. In the present day, we marvel at the modern tropical fruit plantations, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. Looking forward, we anticipate the future of these plantations with a sense of awe and wonder. Advancements in technology and sustainable practices promise a brighter, more fruitful future. From the ancient past to the exciting future, tropical fruit plantations have a rich and fascinating history. The next time you enjoy a tropical fruit, remember the long journey it has taken to reach your plate. 